4 by 4 OLL parity, or when you reach the last layer and you have to flip an edge, this is the algorithm that I use, and the tricks in this video will follow this. There are a lot of tricks you can learn with 4 by 4 OLL parity to make OLL faster. So, for example, for this case, you can choose to flip this edge, this edge, or this edge. And in this case, I think the best one for prediction would be this one. And the reason is because if you ever see this bar and this edge here, then you can predict that you will get a square on the other side when you finish this. And everything else will be the same here. So, there's the square. And so the square OLLs tend to be really good. And so there you go. Next is the case of adding a few moves to make OLL pretty much skip. So it's in this case where if you face this side and you have these two headlights, then you can do M and then OLL parity, M prime, and that skips OLL. All right, so the first category of cases we'll look at is ones that give you a soon case. So in this case, we have no oriented corners already, but when you do the OLL parity algorithm, the front corners will change orientation. So you have to be able to predict when they will be oriented. So you could remember exactly how these corners behave, but as for this video, all you have to know is the rule is that front oriented corners end up going to the top of the other side. So this one is going to have one oriented corner here by the end. This one's not oriented front, so it's not going to create an oriented corner here. From this and this, all you have to look at is one other corner. You can figure out exactly what OLL it's going to be because you know it's going to be some sort of soon or anti-soon case, and you only have to know one other corner to be able to know exactly what it's going to be. So once you do the OLL parity algorithm, this is what I predicted. So you can go straight into the algorithm. Next, for a case like this one, we have one oriented corner at the back already. Neither of these two front ones are oriented front. So we will not get any more oriented corners here. So all we have to look at is this one back here and this one over here. And from that, you should be able to deduce that the rest of the corners will be yellow here and yellow here and know exactly what soon case this will be and then just go straight into that afterwards. So on screen right now, I'm showing all of the cases that fall into the parity plus soon category. For all of these, you should be able to predict which soon case it's going to be and do OLL parity plus OLL without a pause in between. First off, for all these cases, you have to recognize that this, when you do OLL parity on this, ends up with OLL being solved. So for this case, you hold this bar on the right side and you do back soon like this. And then you get OLL parity. So for this case, there's two good ways I know how to do it, and you can just pick one depending on which one you like more. How I recognize this is this block part at the back and this bar right here. So what you can do is for the non-block side, you can either do sledgehammer like that, followed by OLL parity, and then reinsert this pair. Or what you can do is on the same side, you do anti-soon, and that gives you OLL parity. For this case and its mirror, how I recognize it is that it's the only ones that make this shape but don't have a soon case once you do OLL parity because there's no oriented corner on the front here and no oriented corner on the top here. So no corners will be oriented at the end. So how I do this case is U2 into OLL parity and that leaves this case or its mirror for the other case. For this case and its mirror, how I recognize it is that you have this square at the back and this block is on the opposite side. So what I do is with the hand that doesn't have this block, I do this. And that gives me OLL parity. So on this case, it would just be with this hand instead. For this case and its mirror, there are two good ways of doing it. The way I've always seen it being taught is like this, R prime U prime R, and that makes this bar on the front. You just do OLL parity and then undo that part at the back. So what I prefer to do instead is with this side that has the block, you do soon with this hand, and then that gives you OLL parity. Alternatively, with this hand, you can do back anti-soon like this, and that gives you OLL parity. So if you always wanted a nice right-handed way to do it, on this side, you would do back anti-soon, and on this side, you would do regular soon. For this case, where you have this big rectangle at the back and these two on the side, you can do R, U, R prime, U prime, R, and then OLL parity. Then just put this pair back in. For these cases, the way I do this is on the side that has the bar here, you will do L2, B2, L2 for this case, or since this side's on the right side, you will do R2, B2, R2. So the algorithm should be done a bit differently for both, because when you start the parity algorithm, your right hand will be at the bottom here. So you want to regrip first, and then for L2, B2, L2, you'll do it like this. L2, B2 from the bottom like this, L2. And then parity, 
After parity, then do the same thing again, L2, B2, L2. For this case, you do it differently. You start by regripping to start OLL parity as well, but then you do R2, B2, R2 from the top like that. Then parity, and then R2, B2, R2. For this case where everything is oriented, there are quite a few good ways of doing this. One way is by learning the other parity algorithm and then just putting R prime before it. So R prime and then the other parity algorithm. Although maybe you don't want to learn this. And then afterwards, just U2, R. Next, what you could do instead is sledgehammer and then OLL parity and then reinsert this one with R U2 R prime. Next, if you get this one from the back, there are a few ways you can do it. One is with the first four moves of a J perm, so R U R prime F prime, OLL parity, and then undo those four moves. Then lastly, or the last way that I know, is F R U R prime U prime F prime, and then OLL parity. So if you want to train these algorithms, you can check for a link in the description to my website, which I have not finished yet at the time of making this video, but far in the future when you're watching it, it may be done. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.